Here's a dirty secret. Natural gas is not clean. It's bad for our health and it's bad for the planet. Natural gas is often called a stopgap or a bridge to a clean energy future, when in reality, it's a bridge to nowhere. Yet the companies that profit off of it are working hard to make that idea stick. Switching to natural gas isn't a solution. Shifting reliance from dirtier fossil fuels like coal only cuts the amount of carbon dioxide released in half. If we want any hope of meeting the goals of the Paris Agreement and limiting temperature rise to 1.5 or 2 degrees Celsius, the US and other high emitting countries countries have to get as close as we can to zero emissions. Gas definitely isn't going to get us there, especially because methane, the main component of natural gas, is a far more potent greenhouse gas than carbon dioxide. The consequences of climate change, increases in sea level, flooding, drought, ocean acidification, agricultural instability, among dozens of others, are only going to get worse as we pump more greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. So we need to leave the vast majority of the Earth's remaining fossil fuel reserves unburned and in the ground. Increasing investments in gas through pipelines, markets for liquefied natural gas, or converting coal plants to natural gas plants will only spur more drilling and fracking. There's also substantial evidence to suggest that gas is not great for our health. Exposure to benzene, a chemical compound found in many fossil fuels, has killed oil and gas workers. Families living near oil and gas developments have reported increased rates of illnesses like asthma, liver failure, and cancer. And a study in Colorado found that mothers living near high concentrations of oil and gas wells were 30% more likely to give birth to a baby with heart defects. Plus, fracking or hydraulic fracturing, the process by which gas is often extracted from wells, can contaminate groundwater with hydrochloric acid and other chemical additives. Fortunately, we aren't stuck with gas. Expanding renewables like wind and solar can meet electricity demands in the US. There are hurdles. In the short term, it'll require investing in a more flexible grid, which may be more expensive than the glut of cheap energy from gas, but it's important to remember that this cheapness is artificial. The climate and health costs are carried on the backs of everyday people, future generations, and the rest of the planet. Delaying the transition to clean energy and doubling down on fossil fuel infrastructure like pipelines will continue to hurt our health, our wallets, and the climate in the long run. If you're looking for ways to get involved, go to earthjustice.org action and find something in your local community or on the national scale to help combat climate change. More information and all the sources are linked down below. Thank you so much for watching.